I'm happy to let you know about two pieces of good news from Skylum this week. First of all, the Skylum team, who are based mostly in Ukraine, are all safe and doing well. And miraculously, they've managed to put out an update for us this week. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor. I teach beginning and intermediate photographers like you how to improve their photography, right from capture and camera all the way through to the editing process and the final image. So let's take a look at what's in this update for Luminar Neo. The update version is number 1.0.2. So let's hop over to Luminar Neo and see what's new. First of all, you're going to want to check for the update. Just click on the Luminar Neo logo in the upper right corner and choose check for updates. I've already done mine, so you'll see that my version says 1.0.2. Once the update is installed, you'll probably need to relaunch the app as well as Lightroom, Photoshop, and any other photo editing application you're using so it can update the plugins. The menus in Luminar Neo for Windows and Mac are a little bit different. For Macintosh, you can also get to the updates up here in the Luminar Neo menu. If you're using Windows, you'll find the link to check for updates here. The first update that I want to let you know about used to be part of the crop tool if you've previously used Luminar AI. And it was down in here, and that was the distortion correction controls. Now they've added it into Develop Raw. If you go down to the bottom, you'll notice that there is now Transform and three options. Vertical will help you adjust the perspective when you're looking up at buildings like this. Currently, you have to sort of eyeball it, but I have a little trick to help you. If you open the crop tool and then click on the outside, you'll see this grid. So you can then rotate a little bit and just check visually to see if it looks like all the verticals are aligned. If you need to do a little bit more, you'll find the edits over here in the edit panel and just go back to transform. Horizontal will adjust distortion left to right if you're shooting down the row of something and I want to correct some of the building distortion. And aspect ratio is literally going to stretch the picture. I'm not sure when I would need to do that, but it's there. The next thing that you'll probably notice that's part of the update is that the sliders work and are much more responsive. Previously, I noticed that when I adjusted something, it took a moment to take effect. And now you can see I'm doing this real time. And it's affecting the image almost instantly. So this is a good update. The next thing that's included in update 1.0.2 is that you can now copy and paste or sync edits or adjustments from one image to the next in the catalog module. So currently, if I right click, you still can't copy the adjustments from here. You can see that I've done a few edits on this image just really quickly. And when I go back to the catalog, now if I right click and choose adjustments or use the keyboard shortcut, Commander Control C, I can copy the adjustments and then right clicking and using the same method, paste over here. And you can see that it applied those edits. If I want to apply it to multiple images, make sure that the one you want to sync from is highlighted in blue, select any others, and then you can choose Adjustments, Sync. And now you can see that it's synced or copied to the other two images as well. So that will be a huge time saver if you have a lot of similar images or ones that you want to do the same adjustments to. While we're still in the catalog section of Luminar Neo, if you go to add photos now and you're on Windows, it will allow you to add a folder of images where previously you were not able to. That may be by pressing add photos or under the file menu. The last thing that I want to let you know about is that they've added the ability to work with transparent PNGs now inside of Luminar Neo with layers. So I've got my logo here, which is a transparent PNG. So the logo itself is in color and the background is transparent. I'm just going to add it to the image. I've resized it and put it in the top left corner. Let me just turn up the opacity. 
and you can see that everything in the background that was transparent on the PNG just drops out and is transparent over top of this image. No blend modes needed. So this is a great feature and a must have if you want to add a watermark or things like sky augmented items like a bird or a cloud in the sky. So overall, while this is still a minor update, there's a few things that have been added that a lot of people have been waiting for anxiously. I know that I'm going to use the copy and paste adjustment often, as well as PNGs and working with transparent objects. If you haven't purchased Luminar Neo yet, you can use my discount code to get $10 off. Just enter Digital Photo Mentor when you check out. Use the link below to purchase it. If you already own Luminar Neo and you want to learn how to use it from start to finish in step-by-step -step instructions, buy Luminar Neo the complete course by me. Now, click the link here. Early bird pricing ends on March 21st, so grab it now and save yourself 40%. Hope to see you inside the course.